Or a short game's okay. You know, do you want to pay 50, 60 bucks for a, you know, a game that's going to last you five hours? You know, do you want to, especially with games going up to like 70 bucks these days, are you going to pay 70 bucks for Resident Evil 9 if it's only six hours long? Nog TV fam, what's good? What's up, everybody? We are playing Resident Evil Village today. This is actually my third time trying to record this because the first time my computer crashed. The second time my apartment complex decided that they wanted to send their lawn care people out and start freaking mowing the lawn and weed eating and everything. And so I was trying to record and it was just... It sounded like that one video. I'll see if I can try to find it and put it up. I don't, I don't know what the context is, but he just goes... Uh, it just does that and it's really annoying. But yeah, I've, I've actually platinumed this game. And look, there's the proof. There's the proof. Well, that's not proof of the platinum. That's just that I completed it eight times. But I can show you the platinum. Boom, look at that. Look at that up there. Now, I haven't gotten all the DLC stuff. I was too scared to play it again after the first time because I got to play it on hardcore difficulty and uh, get all, craft all the items. So I will do that. Uh, in fact, I might do it this month. That's on my list of to-do things. It's really not a hard game to platinum. It's actually fairly easy. Um, it's pretty entertaining. It's actually not a difficult game to platinum. It's actually fairly easy. Um, I might do a bonus stream at some point and actually play the... Because uh, I, I pretty much have the regular game down, so you're not going to get me with as many jump scares. But Shadows of Rose, I know there's a couple um, that they you might, you know, you could probably actually get me. We're going to hop in here. I'm just going to load this. This is the last one I did. Um, we're just going to do freaking... I don't want to do Village of Shadows, but let's do Hardcore. And we're going to do first. I guess I had played last in third person. Honestly, both are fine. I played it in third person after the DLC and the update came out to try to get the new feel. I like both. Both are good. Whatever you prefer is absolutely fine. I'm just doing first person because that's kind of like the way that the game came out and the way that probably most people played it. So there we are. Nothing. nothing. I didn't say anything. Absolutely nothing. All right, let's just put her down here. <laughs> oh, we cannot put her in there. We cannot put her in the drawer. So I know you're probably wanting. Oh, Rose is fussy. Calm down, baby. Calm down, baby. They're there. I don't want to talk about it too much because it'll get me emotional. But it's like I think this game I started to attach to this game because I played it a little after it came out, not quite. But it was like in the, around the time I was, you know, in the process, you know, engaged, you know, in the process of getting married, and all that. Um, it's like, man, it's like whenever you're a dad, obviously this, this stuff is like really crazy out there. Like I'm never going to be in this situation, but it's one of those. It's kind of like, it's kind of neat. Like the whole dad story. I don't know. Dad, I'm a sucker for dad stories and I'm not even a dad and I'm not a dad on the way. I'm not, don't, you know, I'm not making that announcement. That's not happening yet. One day when we're ready, but I don't know. I'm just a sucker for it. Like it's just a good wholesome story. They always get me. Now I know you're probably uh you're probably waiting, you're probably like, Oh man, get on with the point, get on with the point, you know. You're talking about, you know, your thumbnail and your title talking about short games, why Resident Evil Village is okay to be short, why the short length doesn't hurt it. It actually helps it. No, I don't want to talk about it. I'm just kidding. No, I'll talk about it. I'm, um if if you're unfamiliar with these types of videos, usually I just kinda of tell stories, I kinda of play a game, uh the one that I'm talking about. And uh, kind of kind of explain why I'm like giving that particular hot take, um, trying to improve the last month's rants were just pure rants. That's fine. Some people like that, but I'm trying to make the more of a point, more of a purpose, and one general idea I'm explaining. Uh, last week, if you want to check that out, it's going to be up here in the well. It's going to be farther away than what my finger is, but farther up there in the corner. If I reach too far, my hand will disappear out of the screen. But uh, last week, I talked about Resident Evil 4 and talked about how, you know, I, I don't think it's that scary. But it not being scary helps it because I, I can't give it all away, you know, but just, just check it out. It's not scary. But check out my video. Uh, but this is Resident Evil Village. This is the newest Resident Evil game, or original Resident Evil game, like new Resident Evil game. Um, Resident Evil 4 did come out in 2023. <sighs> But it was um, obviously a remake. So 
I'm I'm excited. We're I think we're due for a Resident Evil Nine. So I don't think we're gonna get it here, but not in the last two months. Obviously, since they haven't even announced it. I'm really hoping though that 2025 something rolls around. I'm hoping they'll announce. Maybe if they announce it before the end of the year, they'll be like, "Hey, you know, coming out next year." But even if we got an announcement next year for 2026, I could be fine with that. Bro, the first time I played that, that crow was like, not even so much because it jump scared me, but because of the noise was just kind of like, bro, like stop, stop screeching, man. It's more like, it's like that feeling of like when you're out in this, you're trying to be quiet somewhere. Oh, some rustling. It's like when you're trying to be quiet somewhere and it's like, shh, like you're not necessarily, that thing doesn't scare you, but you're worried that will attract something that is much scarier. Yeah, that's, that's what I got that feeling. But no, uh, Resident Evil Village, I, I really like it. Honestly, it's probably my, and this might be a hot take. Oh, I always forget what cutscenes I can actually skip and which ones I can't. Uh, it might be a hot take, but I think it's this. Okay, I'm not going to say it's the second best Resident Evil game. It's my personal second favorite. Um, four is always going to take the cake. Um, and I kind of lump the original and the remake in, although... They are very different. I think for the remake of Four honors the original game really well. Probably bet more so than than the two remake and three remake do. Definitely better than the three remake. People are probably gonna get mad. They're like, "Why are you trying to skip everything? Why can't you just? You're not patient enough. Your t your attention span is so short. Like, no, not mine. It's just, that's how freaking YouTube is these days. These days, I feel like you have to make so many cuts. That's why I started the rants to kind of have something that was un not as not unedited, but not as heavily edited, not retention heavy editing like you see a lot of people these days. Because uh, I like to just play games. I like to show them off. I like to rant and talk about them. You know, not everyone does. So I get that. Everyone's cup of tea. And I get certain things that maybe not, you know, aren't the best still become popular and work on YouTube. And, uh, you know, kind of like the discourse about short games. Are short games okay? You know, do you want to pay 50, 60 bucks for a, you know, a game that's going to maybe last you five hours? You know, do you want to, especially with games going up to like 70 bucks these days, are you going to pay 70 bucks for Resident Evil 9 if it's only six hours long? You know, I think that a lot of people, when it was first releasing, um, I know that was some of the big discourse over it was that people were saying, oh, it's too short, it's too short, it needs length, it needs, but then I find it funny because the minute they start adding on and it's not, and it's just like padding or it's rushed. Or it's not, it's an area, they add on an extra area that's not fully flushed out. Then people start complaining and it's like, oh my gosh, you just, that's, you just, that's just filler. It's just padding. Yeah, man. Like, duh. Like, what do you think? I forgot. Oh yes, I got my lightsaber. I forgot you can, uh, there's different things you can do. I know you could, I think you can dual wield it. I don't remember. I gotta remember the controls. No, that, okay. That's, that's my, look at all those. Those healing items. I only have the mid, the mid-size sim, semi-automatic. There, there's somewhat you have to hold it. You press. Oh, there we go. You have to hold it down. Dual wield, baby. Dual wield. I can be a little, uh, freaking Darth Maul out here. You can, ch you can also. I forgot how you do it. Um, you can change the, you can change the blade somehow. Gosh. Oh, there it is. You have to. Okay. Now it can be like, Luke Skywalker, or. Obi Wan Kenobi, or Anakin before he turned evil, and then yeah, then you also go green. You can be like, oh, I'm Qui Gon Jinn, or uh, also Luke Skywalker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you weren't ready for that. Luke had two different colors because he used his dad's saber at first. Nyom, nyom. What color should I go with, y'all? I'm gonna go with green. I'm gonna go with green because. And then I can, the funny thing is you can still, yeah, you can still do dual wield matter of the blade. I think that's really cool. Stuff like this should be, like, the, I want to see this come back to more Resident Evil games. Like, just silly extra stuff. Stuff that, if you want the full, regular, you know, the uh, authentic, original experience, you don't have to play with that on. You can turn it off. I like the first time or two playing the game, you know, and just seeing, like, just the, the raw game, how it is experiencing it for how it's meant to be that's fine but then after a certain point which i'm just kind of rambling now i'm going to the wrong wrong spot but then after a certain point like okay i, I want to see what else you got i want to spice it up you know make sure my fifty thousand playthroughs don't end up the same 
Also, it's a there's a little bit of a little fizziness. Oh, it's it's a sound effect. I don't know if that's gonna sound weird for y'all. It might sound. I'll try not to use that. I'll just use this. I don't even remember picking this up. I don't think I used it at all because do I was doing the uh, the knife only, like the close combat. Also, uh, fair warning. Uh, obviously, you should know this since it's, I like how you just you can't just stand up and get out. You're like, oh, I gotta crawl through. I never noticed that. I always thought they were like trapped. I'm like, nothing says you can't just stand up, unless he doesn't want to get a splinter. But yeah, fair warning. It's Resident Evil. It's gonna be a little gory. G get back! Get back! I'm not scared of you. 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 Next time we're using the lightsaber because I took a bunch of unnecessary damage. I did not need. I tell you what, I won't. I won't carry her out like out and around, so that you don't have to hear that weird fizzy noise. It doesn't make the audio sound funny, and it might not even be a big deal. It might be something I'm imagining, and we're gonna see how long I can go without healing. But I just know this next part is gonna be tough, man. It's gonna be. Oh, oh, body's being dragged in, and then the body disappears when we follow it right in. It's mysteriously gone. Ooh, spooky. Oh, bro, I thought the door was opening while I was barricading. I was like, I'm not ready. Whoa! Uh, okay, I was about to get him. All right, come on now. Come on now. I'm not healing for nothing, bro. I'm good, man. Look at that. The orange health. Orange is good. Orange means great. Orange is my favorite color. Green is my second favorite color. So we going out here now. All right, come on now. Let me get let me get rid of you. I need a dispatch. Lycan snarling. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Where are you at? Where are you at? Huh? You coming up here? You coming up here? What are you doing? Like I'm getting so into it. This isn't even live. An experience like this obviously helps playing live. Uh, maybe I'll to live stream this a little bit. Where are you at, buddy? Oh. Let me take care of you. Let me take care of you. Oh. Hey. Hey, that's not right. That's not right. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Am I going to die? Bro, am I going to die? Oh, I think I'm going to die. Well, okay. That's because I was goofing off. I was goofing off. That doesn't count. All right. No goofing off. We're going to go dual wield. No. We're going serious mode for this, brothers. We're going into the red. Sorry, I'm a little rusty. I haven't played this in a while, even though I was literally playing it last night. <laughs> I but I was playing on the Xbox, and you know, and playing with uh, the lightsabers is a unique experience. We'll go ahead and heal up so that we are fresh. There we go, looking beautiful as ever. Get the dual wield out. I do hate how you have to do it every like if you put the lightsaber up, or you heal or do anything, you have to you have to put that up. Which I guess makes sense because, uh, you know, carrying around lightsabers could be dangerous and uh, hazardous for your health. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 you weren't ready for that, were you? Man, so you're telling me I died from that one guy, all I would have to do is kill him. I told you, I'm, I'm rusty on this. Also, you gotta, you gotta liven it up. You gotta make, you gotta play for the experience, all the people out there watching. I guess, I guess I'll get, I'll get, oh, dude, what? I didn't realize that you can just go bottom only. You can just go, oh, dude, that's crazy. You still, I can still learn things about this game. I can just go bottom. I can just go, st that's, that's hilarious. Well, time to start this part. Hopefully I can survive this. You just got to run around. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Let me see if I can, I might have to stab this whenever people come in. Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in. He's coming in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got blinded, bro. Yeet, yeet, yeet. All right, all right. Who's coming in the door next? Who's coming in the door next? L3 to run. Nah, bro, I ain't running. I ain't a runner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. You don't want none. See, this game This game is a masterpiece. And let me tell you Let me tell you why. Let me, let me talk to you. Lightsabers. How many Resident Evil games have lightsabers? How many, how many games in general have lightsabers? But you can't answer with a Star Wars game. No, no Star Wars game. No Lego Star Wars. No nothing like that. It's got to be just, just any game that's not Star Wars. How many have lightsabers? Resident Evil Village has lightsabers. Oh yeah. Oh guess what? Guess what? Okay, you gotta admit the lightsaber when you when you actually are effective with it, and you use it, it's pretty darn handy. It's pretty darn handy. Oh, I don't know how that didn't get him. I sliced him. I sliced him. I sliced and diced him. Oh no. Get out of here. Get out. Of oh, I should restore health. 
Oh no. I yeah, I do hate how you have to pull it out every time. Whoa, pause. What do you mean by pull it out? <laughs> Adult joke. Funny, right? But no, I think uh, yeah, yes. Resident Evil Village is a short game. But imagine if the game was not fully fleshed out. People hate games that aren't fully fleshed out. People hate games that aren't ready. People hate games that get rushed. Whoa, he got in. He got in. Bro, he wasn't supposed to get in. Oh, I gotta get up top. I gotta get up top. I gotta get away from him. Resident Evil Village is actually a lot of fun. It's really nice. I know I'm kind of all over the place, which... Ta-da! What do you think? That's a rant. That's what I do when I rant, is I'm all over the place. Whoa! He missed. He missed. Oh, but that guy didn't miss. Oh, come on. That's not fair. I've got a lightsaber, buddy. Trust me, you don't want me to use it on you. Oh, gosh. Oh, I need to be on the run. Oh, restore health. Bro, the thing is, that's what the problem is. If you get hit, they're like, those lightsabers are annoying to, to try to pull out over and over again. The lightsabers are really nice to use on, like, casual. Like, when you're, when you're going for the... Uh, when you're going for the trophy, like knives only or knives out, whatever it is, and you can only use knives, like or like you know close combat melee weapons stuff like that, it's it's absolutely fine. Like it's a lot of fun and it's really easy to use when you can kill everyone in one hit. You know, oh gosh, but it's it's definitely not meant for standard. You could probably do hardcore would be a little rough. Imagine trying to do knives. Close combat only on, like, uh, Village of Shadows. Like, I'm kind of playing it risky doing this on freaking uh, hardcore. I'm just going to run in circles. Oh, I got stabbed in the butthole. Hopefully somebody outside heard that. Uh, I guess maybe, maybe I should hope that they didn't because that would be kind of an awkward thing to explain. But sometimes I like those awkward scenarios just because I like to cause havoc. Oh, he stabbed me. That's not very cool. All right, get the double out. Oh, never mind. We don't have time. We don't have time. How? I'm in the middle of stabbing you, brother. Come on now. Come on now. All right, you made me. You made me. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. I'm going to use up all my... Oh, it's time. Okay, I'll skip that. All right. Yeah. I need, the first chance I get, I, I need to go buy some weapons. I should have plenty of money. Eh, no, not as much as I wanted, but I need to get, I need to get me some of those other weapons. I have, I have unlimited ammo on like every weapon. Uh, spoiler alert, she ends up being Miranda, the, the bad person, the antagonist. Oh no, spoiler alert, guess what, the game's been out for a couple of years. And if you're watching this, you probably have already played Resident Evil Village like why I don't know I don't that's what I don't get another thing side note and then we'll get back to talking about Resident Evil Village specifically I've never understood people and this is something that I've done before and I've been guilty of it so I like I understand and I don't blame other people and I'm referring to the people that like when a new game comes out or a game they're thinking about playing or a game that they're not sure about playing a game they've heard stuff of and they don't know if they want it basically a game that they've never played they'll take a game that they've never played and they will go and, like, watch a bunch of gameplay on YouTube or, like, literally watch a, a breakdown of it or something like that. And then they'll be like, oh, man, you spoiled the game, man. You, oh, you should have gave a spoiler alert, fam. You can't do that. Like, that's, that's not right, man. It'd be, the, it'd, be, it'd be the equivalent of, like, hanging around in alley, in shady alleyways all day and being like, oh, man, I can't believe I got robbed. How could... Like, they need a, I had no warning, I was gonna get robbed, and it's like, okay, well, if you, if you hang out in certain locations that breed that, those certain situations, you can't be shocked, you know? It would be like hanging out in the water all day, and being, you know, the deep waters, and being like, man, I can't believe I got attacked by a shark. She looks like she could be evil, but she's not, but she looks like she could be. Now we just, I love these situations, like these certain like these kind of cutscenes, not cutscenes, but like when you get to somewhere before an NPC is ready for you, so then they teleport or you teleport, or it's just awkward while you're waiting for them to catch up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, none of my weapon. I can't pull out a weapon. I know some people are gonna get so upset. They're like, man, I want to watch these. Like you're skipping them. 
like okay but i'm just i'm just trying to play the game man like when i'm on my own i'll watch them sometimes and i'm also just so used because i had to complete all the sp like all the challenges and get the scores and you know beat it in a certain amount of time i'm so used to just skipping it and when you've seen it enough like you know you don't want to watch it every time some people do some people some people say oh you're not a real fan if you don't watch the cutscenes every single time like, maybe if there weren't so many like that, it's like cutscene and then boom and then that, you know. When you've played it as many times as I have, and I think as more as more games come out and, uh, you know, and it, keep in mind, I've only been a fan of the series since like 2021, like mid to late 2021. It was like right around, it was like right before Village came out, I played 7 with some buddies, and I've told this story multiple times. Played seven with some buddies. Uh, was so scared, and I did. I was a friggin' baby. I did not like horror games, but I loved Seven's story, and I loved that it wasn't just all in your face, jump scare, cheap horror, all that stuff. It was more along the lines of, you know, oh gosh, a gunshot. I can't open it yet. I can't. Oh, now I can. Like how those enemies that were out there before, like I didn't do anything to them and didn't kill them. I ran by them. But they're gone. There she is. There's Mother Miranda. You old hag. Oh, I don't want to hear anything. But you're such a negative person, man. They could still be alive. You don't know that. I remember the first time I was playing this around my wife. Um, I was putting in the demon. This part, I was putting the demon crest. And they're like, demon crest? Is that demonic? Are you playing some kind of satanic or demonic game? Like, nope. It's literally just a crest. Like, Resident, Resident Evil Village is a short game yes you can literally there's an achievement for beating it under three hours and i've beat it closer to two hours um i don't remember what my oh it's heisenberg oh sorry strange man is who it is i don't remember my fastest time strange man but woman's not strange woman is just regular now we're on the run yes jesus christ our lord and savior i know him well do you the vill village is short and a lot of people will crap on it and be like, oh my gosh, that's, it's not very good. But think about it. How many, like, and I know, I want to, I know I've been ranting. I want to actually get on to, like, the actual conversation. My counterpoint to that is think about these games that are really long. Like, when I think of long games, I think of, like, Elden Ring. Like, you know, Elden Ring to me is pretty long. It's something that it's taking me a while to get through. I still have not beat it, but I'm having to play it in little bits. Um, another one is, uh, right now I'm also playing through Final Fantasy Rebirth, which is very, very good so far, and I'm enjoying it, but it's long, it's these long games, and, uh, another one is Red Dead 2, I'll be honest, like, I'm not saying Red Dead 2 is a bad game, don't get me wrong, I probably don't feel the same way that most people do about Red Dead 2, a lot of people, like, there, I know a lot of people, and I know, like, people have emotional connections to it, it might have been their, you know, their first game, or they might, a game that they played, you know, during a dark time in their lives, or a game that was just really relaxing, like, just, it just gave them a good time and a good experience. So, I, I'm not, I'm not in the business of trashing games just because I have one nitpick about them. And I honestly have to say, it's actually a pretty fun game. My thing is, it's just so long, and there's just so much to do, I get overwhelmed. And when I have all this to do, such a big map and such a big area, I'm like, now, I know that the counterpoint is people are going to say, well, you've said you like GTA before. GTA is a long game. I'm sure GTA 6 is going to be really long. It is, but I feel like the pacing of that, there's more to do, but it's like more entertaining. Like a pretty modern city environment that it's like you always are kept on your toes. Whereas kind of in Resident or Red Dead 2, I almost said Resident Evil 2. Red Dead 2, it just was so long. And I'm not as much, like, I think the cowboy, you know, western thing is kind of cool for a little bit. It's a gimmick to me. Like, it's fun. It's neat for a little bit. But then after a while, I'm like, more cowboy stuff. More cowboy stuff. You know, it's like, you know, it's beautiful environment. You know, good story, good plot, good characters. But I just was not invested because purely of the length. Anyways, I got more weapons. I could not afford. I forgot I had fully upgraded everything. So everything was so freaking expensive. Um, so I got the Dragoon for cheap, which is fine because, again, I have unlimited ammo on everything. So the Dragoon will be nice. I used that a lot when I was playing through it. And then I have the Rocket Pistol. 
Look at that. was kind of fun. I'll be honest. I didn't use the rocket pistol very often because at that point I already had everything else like infinite ammo, everything, and every, everything max upgraded. So the rocket pistol was like, cool. I got it. Yay. But I like I just didn't use it a lot. But I am excited because now I can actually use it more. But I will say uh, this. Oh, gosh. Somebody screamed. That's not good. Oh, well, I should just go through this door. Oh, that's weird. I can't move. That's all I can't move. I'm reading this. Oh, no, there's bugs. Oh, I got to do this to skip the scary parts. Also, I'll cut this out because this can be a little graphic. Why does the shadow look weird? It looks so, like, choppy. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. We're moving left and right. <laughs> I don't know. That just looks odd. The frame rate does. I'm sorry if the frame rate is a little, like, I don't have the, uh, I think it's just, it's lower because when I'm recording it, it sometimes will drop just a tiny bit. Yeah, it does, it does look like, like, it doesn't look the smoothest, like, it doesn't look like 60 frames a second. And also, it, I've been trying to get a new, a, uh, I want, like, a personal TV or, like, a monitor that will display, like, the high frame rate, uh, to kind of play on that, because I've always wanted to do that. I think that would be nice. Uh, lately, my computer, it's older, I need to upgrade. But I've been having to kind of keep my computer going a little more conservatively just so that it'll make it. I gotta remember, I don't remember everything. I remember most things. I kind of remember the general ideas of things and like kind of what happens when. Oh, I have to, I forgot I have to inspect it and then take it out and be like, hmm, a red eye ring. Oh, sorry, maroon eye. My bad. No, you're not cutting up a man. That's, I don't even, I don't even know if that's PG. She's not in here. I like how the bugs, see, it always bothers me because the bugs follow you. Also, how did he survive that man? That looked like it was a pretty, pretty big drop. Did we, did we just straight up get away or did she just decide she was too lazy? She's like, eh, I don't want to go down there. I will say also, um, I put on the, I love how if you keep crawling, like she's, it's time to where she turns around just like when you come out. Like you can't actually. It's not like you can come out too soon or too early or too quick and she'll see you. Lady D, I'll be honest, it's not. Ooh, but Lady D, I don't think didn't creep me out as much as kind of overkill for a little crystal. Lady D didn't creep me out as much as some of the other villains did. Now, there was definitely still a point where I'm like, oh, oh, God, oh, gosh. Like I'm still like, oh, oh okay. But. Like, gosh, like, probably the, the number one has to go to Mr. X, man. Bro, what the heck? I, it's like I can't even control that. It's just shooting off in random directions. Don't worry. I'm going to yeet these guys. I'm going to yeet them. I got my rocket pistol. I'm ready for anything that comes my way. Something falls. That's true. I did hear a... Bro, you're toast. Also, why did he jump towards me? Your toast, dude. Look at that rocket pistol, man. That's kind of fun to use. Apparently, it, apparently, even on hardcore, it doesn't do crazy damage enough to one-shot them. But again, when you have unlimited ammo, you kind of can just do whatever you want. What I hear, I hear more rumbling. Isn't there? There's some. Is, doesn't one of them crawl out here? Yeah. You, I guess you have to activate it. Get out of here, man. Pipe bomb. Shout out CM Punk. Is he getting up? No way. Okay, he's toast. There's, there's more. I know it. I know it. I know it. Oh, it's you. There's so many of them. I guess I could also pull out the Dragoon. The, yeah, the Dragoon is probably, uh, because it fires faster, it's probably the better weapon to use here. Like, I can just mow them down. Raspy hissing. Don't hiss at me, rasp, raspily. Is that a word? Raspily? Can you, can you hiss at someone raspily? I can't believe Cassandra calls all this mess. Oh, Cassandra, 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 Cassandra. Now we're going to yeet her. Oh, no, she got in my face. Oh, yeah. I used to th I used to think it for... God, she really did corner us, bro. No space. Ever heard of personal space, man? Golly. She was trying to back us up in a corner and do who knows what to us, bro. That probably wouldn't have been PG either. Ew, some bloody gross bottle of wine. And I don't even know if that's actually wine in there. That could be just more blood on the inside. Now, I believe I remember correctly, you got to take the bottle of wine upstairs. There's a little room for it. But I want to I hear in the comments, man. Let me know in the comments. Do you feel like Resident Evil Village is too short? Do you think it's just right? Do you wish it would have been longer? 
And that's the thing. That's a that's a that's a tough question because I think if you word the question differently and you say if you just say, Oh, do you want do you wish the game would have been longer? It's like, well, that kinda depends because the game is great on its own. And if you make it longer you run the risk of okay, uh I gotta remember what to, I gotta remember what to, apparently I don't remember this as much. Also when you're talking and entertaining you kinda like you have to be on your feet a little bit more, and you can't be like, Oh, uh, I don't remember what to do, what to do. I forgot she starts yelling. You have the map. Oh, I don't need I don't need a map. I know where I'm going. The puzzles in the game are not too bad either. I don't know if they're on, like, Resident Evil 2's level of puzzle. And Resident Evil 4 even had some decent ones. But, you know, th there's different ones. They are facing each other. I'm going to see if I can do it without reading the thing. I know that they face each other because I don't, I don't know what the saying is. The women face each other. The way I remember it is the woman doesn't need to look at the begging men. She's too good for them. She'll look at the other woman. This young, looks like maybe not as wealthy woman, looks up to the wealthy woman because that's what she aspires to be. And he wants to... He wants to be a Chad, like the these guys want to be the Chads, the the Mega Knight, and of course this guy thinks he's all that, so he's going after the poor woman. Literally, not what it says. In fact, I guess I'll go I'll go read see what it says, but that's how I remember it. Women are blind to male advances, but the poor shall take their chances to give the Lord their bounty sown, so that soon the wine may flow. Yeah, so the women are blind to male advances, so the women are not looking at the men, and the blind the the poor. And the blind, you know, they want to try to... I don't know if it said they're blind. They're blind to male advances, the women are. But the men, the poor, want to give to the, the richer men. And, you know, that's... Yeah. Yeah, all that. Yada, yada, yada. That, that's how I remember it. And now we're in another fun, spooky part. The little wine cellar down here. Except it's like, is it wine? Is it blood? We may never know. You can also tell when one's about to come out because just watch the water. Like, look. It's literally bubbling. The dude's down there snorkeling. He's down there like... And then, of course, I'd love to eat an herb that is sitting in blood. Nothing is tastier. These guys, these guys are some of the weakest enemies in the game, though, so... it Luckily, it won't take much. It's kind of just like teaching you early on. Boom! <laughs> I love that. That's so much fun. The funny thing is you can hit them off the ricochet. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to make direct contact. I assume it does more damage if it makes direct contact. Yeah, the rocket pistol is fun to use every now and then, but come on now. Why would you use that when you've got a freaking dragoon? There's ones, yeah, right here. It's supposed to pop up in your face. Too bad I'm elite. I just, man, I cannot focus on my, my actual statements I'm trying to make. Resident Evil Village is a short... I keep getting distracted. It just It's one of those games that's so fun to live in the moment. But my point is, is that it is short, but I think the length helps it because how many games do you know that, like I said earlier, that pad length that just add filler in, you know, or games that it's like, maybe they are good. Maybe there's not anything inherently bad about it, like the games I was listing earlier, like Red Dead 2 or um, Elden Ring, uh, like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Like, games that are genuinely fun, that I'm trying to play through, and are entertaining, and have stories, characters, plots, setting, all the stuff you need, the make and model for a great game. But it's long, and when people are getting, like, people's lives are busy, man. Like, I don't have time to sit down and play these long games, like, every single time. Like, I have so many games on my list of games that I'm trying to get through, like, my backlog. It's like I can't catch up, and it stresses me out, because I know there's... A handful of games that I'm never actually going to get to play. It's kind of upsetting because it's like, man, everyone, all all these other people just want everyone to make like long freaking games. I'm like, no, I'm perfectly fine with that. Like Astrobot, like Astrobot came out uh, like a month ago or something like that. And I'll be honest, I've heard great things about that. I haven't heard a single bad thing about Astrobot other than again, well, it's kind of short. I shouldn't be expected to pay sixty dollars for a short game. Which I get it. I get it. Like It's a kind of a steep price for a game that's not going to last you that long. And games have been getting longer. The problem, though, is that 
you used to pay 60 bucks for short games. You no, know, we think about even 50, 60 dollars. The games that are um, NES, SNES, the Nintendo 64, GameCube games, you know, like PS2 games, like some of those, like not a lot of those games were very long. Like there were some long ones, and maybe they had more content. But you think about some of these new games, like some of these new games are massive. They have massive download sizes, massive maps, massive files, massive stories, so much to do. And I, and it's like, okay. And then you have these games like Astro Bot or Resident Evil Village, you know, that take you maybe five, six hours. You have those games that, you know, are under 10 hours. But it's honestly such a nice experience because it's it's entertaining. It doesn't overstay its welcome. The whole game feels fleshed out. Like, okay, they instead of going for quanti- uh, quantity over quality, they went quality over quantity. You know, instead of trying to make a game that was so long, it lasts a player forever, and, you know, it was just going to be this great 100-hour masterpiece, but then, you know, freaking the last third of the game is just so like extra and it's so wild no get away from me that one actually oh ooh, that one was a little little worrying just because she'll walk real slow and then i like how his hands just still hanging there still chilling what would you do if you saw your hand hanging there like that hey brothers where is she where is she oh there she is who well, is like what where'd she go i do like how she can if you position her right she can make shortcuts for you she could shortcut through guess what you're not scary just because you're tall just because you got nails yeah, what about that scary man? Oh yeah, I forgot she can do that too. I will say, playing it on uh, like hardcore or um, was the, the the worst one that ever got me was on Village of Shadows when I was getting like super nervous and super stressed. I was like, oh, I can't take any hits. I gotta, I gotta, you know. Next thing you know, I was I was like, okay, I'm safe. I got through. Then she breaks out of there and just slashes me. I was like, I was not expecting that. But yeah, back to my point, like how many games have you seen that do that? That it's just it's not worth it's not worth the long play time. Or maybe it is, but you get to part and it's like, okay, I've already played the best I played the majority of it. I played the best parts. You know, I've played you know, the parts that I like. I played enough that I feel I got my money's worth and you don't you know, you don't finish the game. Like, man, I wish that I could finish Elden Ring, but it's so big, it's so massive, there's so much and open world games, I know that's another big thing is uh, games these days, a lot of people are trying to move to open world, and uh, you can't be linear anymore. You can't tell the player what to do. It's got to be open. You got to let the player choose what he wants to do. Guess what? Not every game is supposed to be designed that way. There's nothing wrong with making linear games. Now you don't want all of your game. You don't want all of your games to be 100% linear and have no flexibility. Like you don't want to just because you know you could do that, and maybe the first time you play the game is the most fun you'll ever have with a game. You know, there, there's lots of games like that that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, even though I love them, some older Zeldas, some older Zeldas are a little more linear. One I was thinking of, and I don't know if it was, it's necessarily linear, but I have this feeling of, like, the first time I played it was incredibly fun. Actually surprised me how much I enjoyed it, and I was really into it. And I thought it might go down being one of my favorite games. And then since I've tried to return it, return to it and play it a couple of times, I'm kind of like, eh. Uh, but that game was Control for me. A game that I like. I definitely recommend everyone play it at least once because it was genuinely a lot of fun. It's a little confusing at first. Like the story, it, like there are some plot elements that are kind of like, what? Like you have to kind of sit in for a minute to actually understand. And so, you know. I'm at, you know, imagine imagine if Resident Evil was a open world game. Like, how would you do an open world Resident Evil game? I don't know. It might, might be something. I feel like if done right, it could be really interesting. Is it for everyone? It's not for it's not for every franchise in every series. Sorry, I just had to get had to take care of him so he doesn't come back later. The piano man. Anytime the game asks you to play a piano in a horror game, you know something's about to go down. I gotta try to remember. I do not know how to play the piano. I'm too low. Oh, I'm too... Okay, I see. Don't. See, it kind of just like... It locks... Or unlocks and then closes. But it's like... It, is Ethan playing that? Is like... Because you can't really see the camera. Is it one of those where the keys start playing themselves? Because then that could be kind of creepy. Or is it one of those that is... I need to unlock this first. 
Or is it like he's actually, he knows how to play it? Because that would be pretty cool. I could totally respect Ethan if he knew how to play the piano like that. Now I got to remember, I know that Lady D kind of jumps out at you at one point. I think it's when you get up close to here. I, I like how they did Lady D in this game. It kind of gives that, like I was saying earlier, that uh, that like Mr. X vibe. Where it's not, it's not like she's just everywhere like a nemesis, like relentlessly haunting you to that point. Um, but it's more of just like a, okay, you think you've gotten away. You think you feel safe. You know, you, you're good. And then, boom, next thing you know, like you're not safe anymore. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah, I got to flip this. You're getting yeeted, son. You're getting yeeted. Yeeted and defeated. Yeah. Uh, I, did, I didn't finish making my point earlier because we got surrounded. But I uh, I was going to say that my first time playing through the game, really first time or two, I was afraid that she could still damage you as she was dying, like in her dying animation, where she starts trying to swing it around, you know, just like flailing, flailing it aimlessly. That is incorrect. Uh, she can't actually hurt you when you do that. But hopefully that rant did something for you guys. Hopefully it moved the needle for you. I got more coming up. Uh, I know next week I think I am playing some kind of jump scare game. I'm going to be talking about jump scares and my opinions on kind of the – I've already kind of talked about it a little bit. But the cheap thrills, man, of jump scares and what I think about them. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be playing Five Nights at Freddy's or some, I, and something like that. I don't know. Um, I'll figure it out, but last week's rant, like I said, is going to be up here. That's where you can click on it and you can watch about Resident Evil 4, where I talked about it not really being scary.